open window. My aunt will be down in a few minutes, Mr. Nuttall, said a very confident young lady of 15. Do you know of my aunt's great tragedy? Continued the young lady. Her tragedy? Asked Frampton. Three years ago, her husband, her two young brothers, and their little spaniel went through that window for their shooting. Said the niece, indicating a large French window that opened onto a lawn. In crossing the moor, they were all drowned. Their bodies were never recovered. Poor aunt always thinks they will come back someday. So the window is kept open every evening till dusk. Sometimes, on quiet evenings like this, I get a creepy feeling that they will all walk in through that window. She broke off when the aunt entered the room. Has Vera been amusing you? She said. She has been very interesting, said Frampton. I hope you don't mind the open window. She rattled on cheerfully. My husband and brothers will be home from shooting and will come in this way. They've been out in the marshes today. Frampton made a desperate effort to turn the talk onto a less ghastly topic. The doctors agree ordering me rest and absence of excitement, he said. Mrs. Sappleton suddenly brightened into attention. Here they are, she cried. Frampton swung around in nameless fear and looked in the same direction. Three figures were walking towards the window, carrying guns under their arms. A brown spaniel walked at their heels as they noiselessly neared the house. Frampton grabbed wildly at his stick and hat and beat a hasty retreat. A most extraordinary man, Mr. Nuttall, said Mrs. Sappleton. He left without a goodbye or apology, like he had seen a ghost. I expect it was the Spaniel, said the niece. He told me he was once hunted by stray dogs and had spent the night in a newly dug grave with the creatures foaming above him. Making up interesting stories at short notice was her speciality.